Bentley and the 50th meeting of the two clubs. Okay. Billy Moore. Oh, great pass. Here's some support coming. Billy Moore. He offloads for Florimo. He fends away. And Flojo. Did he get it down before the dead ball line? Yes, he did. Florimo scores. North's most experienced player loomed up in support and tried to improve position and get the Talk about double trouble for a kid who hasn't played much first grade. You're confronted with Billy Moore. And then he has to go for Florimo and his head hits the ground. To figure in a grand final, will it be this year? The Brisbane Bronco fans outnumbered well and truly. Great by Matt Sears. Taylor shovels it wide to Fennett. He goes to Larson now. Ten metres out. It's Florimo and he's just shot his slides over. Tough ball in for the referee. He's going to want the try. Florimo skidding over in the corner. And I'd say that's a tackle of Kevin Walters sliding. Now, is there a deliberate double movement here? The momentum carrying for the line. He allows it to slide and he's just got there. Fed than in North's history. Captain back in 1988. Of course, now it's Jason Taylor. But what a try for... Mistake by the man at the back. There's a good hit by Greg, Greg Florimo. The referee. Florimo goes to blindside. He breaks away from Langer. Still going, Greg Florimo. Stepping well. Strength to break Langer's tackle and then the step. And Florimo on the run around was taken by McCracken. He's been... Wilson able to get the ball away. Kevin Moore. Oh, that was a tremendous tackle. The player dived off the ground. There's a punch up going on as Dean Pay takes it to within about eight metres of the line. Players surge in from all over the park now to separate. Jared McCracken's one. Jared McCracken is one and, and the Florimo. other. Coach will be looking for Peter Louis. Florimo turning it away for Craig Collar Mounter. Great tackle, Greg Florimo still coming out with big. Florimo keeps going. Florimo. Oh, that's a great try. North Sidmore at the top echelon. Fellows like Greg. the 40 metre line. So did the dummy half. They want to quick play the ball. Play in a semi final situation. You see here, North Sydney got big numbers again. Larson down to the 20 metre line. Well taken by Florimo. Back inside for Gavin Jones. Because they both hung off Carolina. Laurie Day. In Florimo's pass. Oh, a ripper. Oh, magical pass. And Toshak. Matt Toshak scores. Uh, two of the best passes you'd ever want to see in a game of rugby league here. Firstly from Taylor. Look at this one. It's a lovely pass. Puts it right out in front of Florimo. Gets him running onto the football. And that's an equally has been a good one. I thought Girdler, he might have gone for the intercept. But once again, support offence. And Fittler again. has board anyway. 12-4 up now. The fans like it. No joins in. Gets away from Bell. It goes back for Fairley. And David Fairley. Right, and the Gilmeister is snuffed out by Florimo. Good tackle. For marker there, that's the question. Florimo kicks ahead, and Freeman... Lovely dummy, gets on the outside, throws the dummy, and he's through what he's... Really haven't progressed too far down the paddock. And now they knock on. This Trent. is play on. There's nobody at home. Florimo, he keeps it on the foot, then gets the bounce. Oh, that's George Best. Florimo scores the try. Manchester United, but he came up with the right balance at the right time. And the red and the black and the white. That should just about take they made. No fullback back there, Alexander, on the other side of the field. And Florimo, great effort, great skill on the toe. And that should wrap it up for the big back. Must be getting sick and tired of making breaks. Every time you look up, he's on another break. The chase. There's our man of the match for MMI Insurance, one of our great sponsors. Greg Florimo. Too much. The start was good enough. Enough to say the Bears would be beat in 94. Back inside for Florimo. Florimo. Oh, that's a great Line down. Then there was Hoppy and the dynamic rookie of the year in sensational form. See you. The Bears will back soon. Flow for Taylor. He's away. He's got Taylor with him. Gives it to him, but Taylor will sprint in for 
the try, knocks it back. Five. Lyons looks to the blind side, takes the tackle. Good defense. Well played by Soden. Kiss comes away. Back it comes and away from Soden to Florimo. Now Doyle. Doyle taken by Tuvi. Able to get the pass away. Les Kiss goes for the corner. He'll make it. He makes it. First try of the game. Spread by Soden. This is Florimo trying to do. Trying to do the dance because the kick was tapped. Florimo's onside. Florimo gets the bounce here. Florimo getting away. He's got support out wide from Halligan. He brushes off the signal from Annesley on the MMI replay. Florimo charging downfield. It just hops up into his arms. Gordon had no chance. Florimo knew that again out wide he could wait one. Florimo laid on the first one and Greg Florimo lays on the second. Look out for the big dive coming here from Halligan. A big three-point landing. Mez. Florimo. Florimo out wide. Nobody home. Great cutout ball from Florimo. David Hall waiting out on the wings. He gets the try that Tool was denied just a moment ago. The defence was caught short. Long pass. And Schusman was caught out by Florimo to get the best started for a try for David Hall. Yeah, a little bit of an experience there from Shoesmith, but Greg Florimo took the odds. There was always the chance of an intercept when you throw a long pass like that, but Shoesmith came in, out of position. David Hall took the opportunity and went around to score a most... Norse looking for another try. They can smell it. Hall. Hall stays on the short side. Florimo laid on two. He gets one. They're in a hole of Knights. They might be digging it themselves. But if it's going to cave in, the Bears are going to have a big say about it. Hall got it on the MMI replay, decided to stay back where the defence was coming from. Florimo had them on the wrong leg. He shaped a pass. He deserves this try today. Yeah, he's had a big game so far. Florimo. Florimo and Martin. Have a points decision so far over the damage back for Florimo. Florimo late on the first two, scored the third himself. And his defence has also been... Great performance at 5'8 today from Greg Florimo, who moved there to cover for Peter Jackson and also Phil Blake in this one. Uh, you had a hand in the first two and then you finally scored one yourself. Greg, uh, did you enjoy it a lot closer back to the action? Yeah, I certainly do. I mean, you're a bit closer and uh, there's a few more opportunities at 5'8". You can create, a, you know, a few things and I do enjoy it, yeah. No Jackson going into it, no Larson. It was a big ask today against Newcastle, but the forwards certainly played well. Well, it was a challenge without those guys. I mean, obviously, they're, they're a main part of our side. But uh, we went out there today with a plan of, uh, of matching Newcastle up front, which is their go. And, uh, you know, it came out trumps. Came out trumps for you. Here's $1,000 from MMI, the quality standard insurance. Well played today. Thanks, Graham. And thanks, MMI. On then, but the tragedy was no one read it. Well, no one anticipated as Hall comes back on the inside. Beats one, beats two, slips over, gets up. Right there for the Reds. Oh, looked a bit high, and the referee's got... Greg is going to be called out for this. I think it was careless. I, I, I believe that one just could have slipped up. It wasn't bit. a date. It was, it was careless. As it comes now from Taylor, out wide, Soden in turn, Florimo. Options both sides. Beautiful pass out wide. It's gone loose and then been picked up and it's a try. Is it it's very, very selective here. You watch him. He holds the defence. He looks out wide. Bang. The face ball through the gap. This is a genuine pass. Larson. Across the line and in the line. The two of the kangaroos fairly away. It comes now. On it goes to Florimo. Back on the inside. Supports there. Out wide it comes again. Here's a chance going for the line. Nigel Roy. Back on the inside. Chris Caruana. And Caruana has scored a monument. Reds on this side of the park. But then the combination fairly and away to Florimo. Florimo, look at this. A magnificent run downfield. Then back on the inside. Matty Sears. Brilliant skills took the ball very awkwardly, delivered the pass to Nigel Roy, and Chris Caruana finished oh, the wrap around, and here's it again. It's Florimo who's gone straight. He's flying a lot of gaps. Sears, always there, but the ball... Now, from dummy half, Florimo. Florimo runs straight and... Midway <laughs> half and quarter line, inside the Reds' territory. Fuller, Ryan taking a bit of pressure off the forwards. Taking Lazarus. 
the 22 points might have helped him. Not good medicine for him. To Florimo and Taylor, who did so much damage in the first half. It's so for Florimo, they've got a bit of space out here. Florimo back on the inside. He slowed as it comes to Florimo. Florimo goes straight through. They won't stop him. Greg Florimo has scored the try. Two tackles after the Western Reds error. And maybe that's the end of the ball game. 26 points to 12 the score line with the kick from Jason Taylor to come. Well, was this man, was it, he was tired, surely he was tired, but gee whiz, a tired, he runs like that and scores a try for a tired man, he is a good player. What he's done here, they've had the scrum, he stood on the blind side after that ruck, got the ball, just beat a simple tackle, just too quick. There he is, he stands up Goldspeak, he gets away from Barry John Mather and then just out sprints the defence to score. But instead... The North Sydney Bears get an inch out of the anatomy. He scores a try. As they bring the ball up to the line again, Florimo the switch by Taylor. That looked to be forward away to Florimo again. Florimo in one way, out the other way. Runs around Devine and scores a super try and the smile says it all. Greg Florimo, he has had a big game. And considering he played on Wednesday night, he's entitled to be tired. He looked a little weary at one stage in the early stage of the second half, but this was good football. You can't blame Sean Devine. One on one, the man with the football should always score. There's the pass. Well, it looks okay on that angle. A look at Florimo. Goes one way and then goes the other. Totally wrong foot's Devine. And away he goes to score the try. And look at the smile. Like a split watermelon he was when he scored that. Here it is, Taylor. Very selective again with his pass. Should I give it to Florimo or should I use him as a decoy? The defence opened up. He made the decision to give it to Florimo. And look at the result. He had a, he had a runner behind him outside. There's your second man runner out there. Will I give it? No. I'll pop the short right in. So he had, you know, they just read the game so well. And they unite as a, comb a combination. That's going to be very, very hard to um, contest uh, as we get further into the semi-series. He and this man, Taylor, again, Florimo. Florimo looking for a hat-trick. Florimo unselfishly gets it out wide. And this is another try. And Matty Koshak's it again. They've got to the half cent. They've plucked this try. And again, it was Soden in combination. And look at Taylor's pass. Florimo burst into the hole. And out wide, Toshak, Ryan giving chase. Hall on his inside. Gee, how many times will North Sydney score a try or score 50 points? And David Hall not score a try like this. Have a look at this. Look at him go. Florimo. It's pretty to watch. He's there. Poetry in motion, isn't he? Knows when to pass. Knows the ball's going to be put over the line. Had a smile on his face. Before he hit the, the, the corner post. It's, it's only academic. Because I'm not sure, did he hit the corner post? I don't think he got the ball down at the first attempt. Now, that's before the line. That's with the other two. But I'm my man of the match, the Ansett man of the match, will just about have to be Jason Taylor. Only, be, only because of the fact... He just kicked them all from everywhere. We'll be back after the break. For Greg Florimo. Florimo steps and goes himself over the line. Florimo. And Florimo exerting his... Uh, looking for the bomb to pay a dividend. It has. Wishart gets it away. Florimo puts it over the line. And that is a try scored by Greg Florimo off the bomb of Ricky Stewart and Rod Wishart's effort. It must not be forgotten. Why? And now Florimo chimes in for another one of those strong runs and they run to the grandstand side of the ground and then eventually the troops come across three of them in fact and they they interrupt the good time the florimo was brad fittler from the right across to the left and then florimo goes through to score a lovely work a combination of walters fittler fittler the main player florimo florimo dummies to, to fairly before taking oh, very sweetly dummy shown by ah, sadaris Great work, Florimo on, brushes away again. They're coming in support, Hill and Wishart. Wishart will go on. Oh, the big legs, they were getting weary. Caught, and it kept coming in the end. Bradley Clyde. Daly, oh, totally to Daly. And there's a try coming. Florimo, inside. Rinoff, Rinoff goes in to score. Rinoff gets the try for Australia. No tripping over for Steve Rinoff this time. Laurie Daly knew that the outside men from Great Britain were coming in very quickly, so he just battered, he battered it all and missed it completely, Laurie, but it worked out well for the Aussies, as Greg Florimo, who's played great, was taken by Schofield and Steve ran off a simple task to catch the ball and go. Gap for Australia. Florimo didn't have the pace to get there, but Renoff does. So any, the great side Australia, any 
chance of a Great Britain comeback there's just been blown out of the water. And Fatty, that goes back to the tackle from Ben Lazarus that forced the ball loose. Martin Offia had an ideal opportunity to dive on the loose ball. He'll come off here with, he could play in the same jersey next time. So Renoff scores his sixth try in four test matches. Inside for Sedaris. He'll need some help. Finds Florimo. Florimo needs help as well. Langer puts his ears back. Gets it away for Sailor. Sailor. By the Kangaroos' awesome arsenal of power, skill and speed. And scores another Australian try. This is his North Sydney teammate, David Fairley. And the ball overhead, Menzies... The eyes of the rugby league world cast their critical gaze on Ellen Road, Leeds, for the third and deciding Beninga, the ultimate retirement gift. Picks up Clyde, Clyde on to Florimo, he puts it on the boot, Robinson puts it... ...tall the ball, a beautiful ball off Clyde here, Florimo, he's got to draw the man, he panics a little bit, slips the ball in, Jason Robinson... Australia retain the edges! On the city of Leeds, the city that host the uh, the kangaroos these days on a permanent basis after three sizable chief executive in there adamant a beautiful kick there by greg florimo they're adamant that reuben wiki will be playing for the Auckland warriors next year there he is greg florimo who's in fact I've got an exclusive to reveal here today. Greg Florimo is off the drink until the end of the season. So that's what he's told me. So anyone out there that sees Greg Florimo with a beer, I want you to ring the ABC. I'm Taylor shoots it out to Florimo, almost away from Stewart. Bustling run from Florimo, got in because... Florimo bounces away from him. Up there he goes, shoves up Ricky Stewart. Great run, Greg. Care of. Steve Walters is the first, and he left Ferner and Lomax behind. He got away from Clyde there. Ricky Stewart, see you later, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky got himself into a very poor position. And <laughs> back. They'll need a lot of possession, Canberra. Now it's Florimo. Florimo still going. Right through goes Florimo. Bounces away from Mullins. Still going is Greg. Florimo, one off the rock here. What's this? He beats one. He beats two. Steps out of Steve Waller's tackle. Mullins can't do any good. He gets rid of another one. Fantastic run by Greg Florimo. Florimo on the burst. He's away from Bell. It's a great run again for Florimo. Oh. What a run. Florimo to the 10 metre line. Back to one. They just can't get near him. Mullins can't get him. He's still going. Geez, big and strong. Been the player of the day. They're having a sensational game. Jason Florimo again. Fairly back to Florimo. Shoves up Daly. Away goes Cleary. To French. And now to Florimo. Florimo with the ball. The hole's thrown an awful pass. Florimo seized on it. Florimo won't have the speed, but maybe Les Kiss does, <coughs> and he'll beat Brad Burke. Burke to Florimo. Florimo nearly right. Just trapping it with a boot. Trying to get between Florimo and also looks to Florimo. Beautiful step as well. And I think the man on the spot again was Billy Moore. I believe that was his best option back on the inside. That may well have been. Here he broke the line, but he didn't know Moore was there. He looked for a difficult pass. If he didn't realise he had to... Beats Munro. Surinan misses him as well. Florimo still going. A oh, great try, Greg Florimo. Florimo's cut through. He's got support either side. Back inside is David Fairley, and he scores the try. And that should be the... And it brushes off the defence easily. Kicks ahead. Soden chasing through. Lewis won't chase him. Kiss is also there. This time this year, but it was David Hall who scorched over the Magpies' turf to grab the opening try. North's made a flying start in the second half, with Greg Florimo swooping onto the intercept. And he had the pace to reach the line. Down. Larson will be onto it first. What about the... Work, then. <laughs> Cut at this rate. Conlon. Conlon dummying. And dummying past runners easily. Now look at the support on the inside. Hall. Well, Hall ran away from his supports. Now Florimo back to Conlon. Super borrowing for the try line. Gets it back. Kept alive to Fairley. Look at the numbers here. 
Jackson. Florida had to be. And now. Martin. Dummies to tour. Jackson keeps it going. Jarvis. Conlon hands it on to Faramo. And it comes to Halligan. Halligan for the corner. Across comes to cover. Almost sights a little opening. The Broncos under pressure here. Only five metres out. Tay, Tony Ray in a dummy half. Martin. Jackson. Slips the ball for Blake. Blake has the ball to Faramo. A score. Faramo in for the... Turned his back and spun the good pass. Faramo. Greg Faramo. Floated pass for Halligan. For the corner, that's the... Here in State of Origin shadow player, Greg Florimo lit the spark. <laughs> Again, Florimo did the damage and David Hall did the finishing. At the break, the Bears led 18-0. The Bears were at it again in the second half. This time, another Jackson pass put Florimo through, who in turn found Kiss. They needed any luck, but even the bounce of the ball favoured the Bears, and Florimo took full advantage. Shows Florimo. Florimo! Great ball of MacArthur. One hour of the match gone. Florimo turns it inside. David Hall gets it away for Mike Peace. Mike! The cutout pass from Solomon found Barwick. The dummy. Again, the ball's floated out wide. Back on the inside. This is Mike Peace. Solomon. Quick hands across the ruck again. Wilson back to Ray. Ray drops it on the ground. Picked up by Barwick. Back on the inside. Florimo! North Sydney, desperate to stay in the race for the five. And Florimo, Greg Florimo, he's been... Solomon switches the point of the attack, spins it out wide. MacArthur back on the inside, another chance. Larson, Larson, the little grubber kick. Everyone going for the ball, it's loose. It's still loose. Play on, says the referee. And Greg Florimo... The... Florimo, oh, good bust. Lovely ball to Tony Ray. Ray down to the corner line. He's got Solomon. Play the ball, held up by West. Out to Florimo now. He dances inside. Willis still going. Florimo flicks it under Wilson. And the North waited and waited. Shows a dummy. Butler puts in the net. And they come up with a scrum win. This just seems to be a mandatory process. Quick hands now. Craig Makepeace. Can he score? He will score the try from the scrum win. Florimo got the ball out. Oh. They won't catch this bloke at the fullback. This is him because he's very quick. Now Florimo. I want to... Marson, cuts out Tool and finds Florimo bursting through the defence to score an easy try under the posts. McPhail. On to Billy Moore. Billy Moore sends Peter Jackson into a hole down the blind side. A try coming up for the best. Florimo... From 17-0 down to pip an undisciplined Canterbury in round 13. New Zealand did need this. Florimo then. Looks like he's been told to, to stretch and get with that. Tupu makes the tackle. Five, uh, five gone. Florimo, he goes for the drop goal and he gets it as well. So we're going up in one. Good goal, I think. We've got to take a break. It's 14 to 10 in the second test. Well, has a decoy runner outside and picks up uh, one of the second rowers, normally Kearney. And Sears rushes away from one tackle, gets it back to Soden. Florimo accelerates it, goes straight through. Good work, Florimo. The kick ahead, chased by Fairley. He'll be first to the ball, and David Fairley will score. Superb for Sydney try, started mm. by Greg Florimo, but David Fairley, you wouldn't back him to be the first man to that kick. Where were some of the speedy men back in defence? 
The good offload by Matty Sears. He pops it back to Mark Soden to Florimo. Comes off his right foot, gets rid of Namo. That's an ordinary attempt. I thought he made a mistake there. He had Fairley unmarked on his inside. He decided to kick, and a great kick it was too. And David Fairley picks it up. He can't stop the big battle from there. Well, twinkle toes here after the good unload first of all from Matt Sears. That really caused some trouble because he dragged the forwards in. But look at the twinkle toes here. A lovely little swerve. And Florimo went straight past his opposite number, Namu. Certainly on side, David Fairley and takes the ball safely, and the only one home with Tia Rapati. Yeah, Mark Soden did well there to get the ball away from that ruck area as quick as he could. As we can see, look, Fairley is unmarked on his inside. Greg Florimo didn't actually see Fairley, so the kick goes up. Jason Taylor moves in, and no mistake with that one. There was no... In recent games has shown that he can offload and has been trying to work on his attacking skills. Hasn't been so prominent today. Fires it to Florimo! Superb pass. Superb pass by Taylor, but Florimo made it happen. He just steams into that hole. It's a cakewalk all of a sudden. The Bears are growling. Auckland crawl back into the end goal. It's 24 to 4 to North Sydney. Oh, this is a planned move by the North side. We can't see for that. There's Gary Larson. He runs a decoy. Barely runs a decoy. He takes the player out. And Greg Florimo, a huge hole. And doesn't he love it, the red man? Look at him, arms in the air, he's stoked. Have a look at it from this angle. Now, he goes across. Now, Larson takes out a play. Now, the guy, one of the awkward players, came off their line to go up fairly. And that's what opened up the hole for Florimo. A planned move and a good move. Two decoys, one in front of the ball and one behind the pass. Look at it, it splits the two of them and picks out Florimo. You've got to give a lot of credit to the attack there. The defence might have been looking thin, but it was always going to have trouble with that move. Florimo, first try of the year and a beauty. Right. Boyle, they're all on the right-hand side, the North Sydney players. Only three or four Warriors there. Larson straightens up, looking for support. There it is too, and it's Greg Florimo in for number two. Gary Larson kept the momentum going after a fine run by Toshak, but there was no adjustment made by Auckland. They were straggling back, they were in trouble. They, no one went to the far side of the field, but that's where North Sydney were with the scent of victory in their nostrils. Look at this tremendous run by Toshak. He has picked three tackles after the break and he still hasn't made it back on side yet. And, They're and always Auckland. going to score a try. But Gary Larson, same thing, off the right foot. And there's his brother-in-law, Greg Florimo. But those defenders, Jack, not only were they not on side, they were watching and walking back. Now, you've got to run in this situation. This is all hands on deck. Well, he's having a blind at Gary Larson, isn't he? And he just spends an eternity looking for the support player. And there he is, the red man himself, Greg Florimo. And it's no surprise. Here's the break by Makepeace. There's one missed tackle by Kearney. And he gets rid of Dean Bell. And there's another missed tackle there by uh, Tapupu. He's beaten four players there. That's yeah. ridiculous. Lack of desperation by the Warriors. And it's no... It's no... Uh, what am I after, Warren? It's, it's no coincidence that Norse have lifted of Greg Florimo. Usually when Greg Florimo plays well, North City does. He's lifted. He's set up two, scored two and set up one. Taylor, a little wider this time, but he's ramming it home. Two more points. Perhaps 35 points, I think it is, a game at this stage. John, you look at the performances home and away for Auckland so far. They've put two good performances in at home. Florimo's going to race all the way himself. Chased by Blake. Tries to keep him at bay. Pops a pass up. Great tackle. Finally put Soden on the deck. That was Alexander got to Soden. Mark. Good run by Florimo. And uh, he tried to get his arms free after Blake collared him. Soden was on the spot. There's Soden. He just popped one up. Little Soden grabbed hold of it. Lost the ball behind him. And a high score is Ken Irvine, the top with 2.12. But now Greg Florimo with Johnny Peart. Well, Greg, 6-4 uh, at half time. But, uh, off, first off, I'll ask you about the week preceding the game after Manly gave you a hammering. Uh, did you feel any pressure or did you know that you could improve a little? Well, the, about the only pressure we felt was the, the pressure we put on ourselves. We had to live with ourselves over the weekend after the loss. And, and we lamented a little bit about it on, uh, on the Monday night, but uh, we forgot about it after the Monday and, and concentrated on this week's game. And, you know, this week's is a good game. Well, the first half, they showed they can do something with the ball. They had very good width. Did that uh, put a bit of pressure on your defence? Yeah, well, uh, they, were, they were running up and, and taking a couple of tacklers and, and popping the ball out the back, which is, is very hard to defend against, as you know. And, and uh, you know, th that did put a bit of pressure on us. They got one try. And uh, overall, I thought our defence was pretty good in the first half. But, uh, you know, we went in at half time sort of saying that we had to tie that ball up and, uh, and show some ball control ourselves. And, you know. Mm.
I guess you didn't know what was around the corner, but 42 points in one half. Well, it, it was a little bit surprising, but, uh, you know, as it, games can go like that, especially on days like today. It's pretty hot, and, um, you know, we're, we're happy it went our way. Well, you certainly had a ball. You've freshened yourself up after the kangaroo tour. Yeah, my form hasn't been crash hot over the last few weeks, and, uh, you know, I needed a big one, and today's, today's was a good one. You certainly did. Good on you, Greg. Thanks very much. Thanks, John. Yeah, I think Greg... This rap, they can get a quick play of the ball. Solomon. Wilson. Billy Moore's pass, scooped up by Greg Florimo. He's actually touched by a physical player. Should have been six again. They might not need it. David Lydiard, Glenn Lydiard. Now Tony Ray. Oh, and two. Tony Ray gets his second try. Level nine commentator. Florimo kept it alive there. Have a look at the smile on the face as he goes on. <laughs> Halligan. That's MacArthur turning it inside for Florimo. Turns it back. Now they've found some space. Wilson goes up the centre. Gold Coast defence. Florimo trying to stand up his man. Got away from two. Kenwood comes again. Inside ball to Fairley. I'll put that try down to Greg Florimo. David Fairley gets the Bears' second try. And North 10 lead the Gold Coast nil. Yes, we can put that ball, that this try down to Greg Florimo. Let's not forget a great run earlier on by Billy Moore. But here's Florimo pushing his way through defenders, gets the big arm out, swings the ball inside to David Fairley. Yeah, I think certainly he's one player that has contributed very well. As we see Greg Florimo here, it's his opposite striding number. away. Florimo up to halfway. Kenwood took him high. Got off trying that same manoeuvre this time from the scrum. As Florimo, again the big fend, he's put away two. Almost putting away a third. The centre pairing of Buzian and Bouvang. Coast defending. Bartram out of this scrum. Dunaman at lock as Florimo with a step beats Kenwood. And Bartram comes up with a tackle he had to make. Unable to stop Florimo though as Sears turns the ball inside to Moore. Standing five metres out from the Gold Coast line. He got away. Oh, he threw the dummy. He <laughs> comes up with a try. Taylor, Florimo inside his man. Manages to stand in the tackle. Will get back up on his feet. Away to Sears. Sears at floating ball inside to Moore. He's held here by Doonham and Doonham just waiting for a teammate to clean it up but no one helps him. He lets go and over goes Billy Moore. Well Greg, a great win, a big scoreline but it's all about forward power, the simple stuff up front isn't it? Yeah, the forwards went forward well for us today and uh, we got a good start and sort of rolled on from there and, and they never took a backward step. Can you tell us a little bit about Mark Soden? He really changed the side, hasn't he, since he's um, come into the hooking role? Well, he takes a hell of a lot of pressure off JT. I mean, everyone's looking for JT to do something with the ball. Once they take their eye off Mark Soden, he's straight out of dummy half and, you know, he makes better in the yard. And big rap there for Mark Soden. He's showing that he too can kick. Down for Stokes. Well wrapped up by Florimo. Yes, Florimo is going as well as anybody in any game I've seen in defence in this match. He's really putting on a great tackling display. Florimo was the tackler again then. How many times he's done that tonight, I've, I don't know. It's been an astonishing tackling performance by him. He's chased everything. Nearly intercepted by Ryan. Soden again. What can they do this North Sydney side? Starting to open up now as MacArthur gives it away to Bostead. Bostead's given it away to Ray. Ray looks for support but doesn't mean can't get the support, support bars away as he's pulled out inside the corner. But here come the North Sydney Bears. Very late in the game. What can they do? Billy Moore. Out it goes to Florimo. Florimo! Florimo for the line and scores! North Sydney but I'm not game enough to bet on it. Let's have a look at this again. Beautiful work there. Lovely long run. Soden, a long, long pass out there. Goes out to number 13, Billy Moore. Billy Moore feeds it to Florimo. Florimo, who's been one of the better players on this North Sydney side tonight, runs straight and hard, as only he uh, knows how to do, and scores a very good try, which will seal the win for the uh, North Sydney side. A little question about that. So there it was, Florimo, the little dummy, evades the tackle, evades a tackle from Lyons at the end and goes in and scores the try.
It's a funny old game, isn't it? It certainly is, Ollie. <laughs> but you're not smiling, I know. Okay. Welcome back. These outstanding finishes can keep on coming. And North Sydney, home over Manly and our man of the match, Greg Florimo. Could you keep it any later, that try? Yeah, well, it uh, seems to be the trend at the moment, late comebacks. And uh, I'm pleased with the boys' effort. It was a great effort. Manly we hung in there for a while, but uh, we, we just showed it can ball down to the last couple of minutes. Good start. Good solid start for the club. Oh, definitely. Uh, we, we showed that we've got the potential up in uh, up at Bundaberg, and again, we showed it tonight, and it's going to be a big year. All right. Well, big night for you. $1,000 is our Channel 10 man of the match. Thanks, Graham, and uh, thanks, Channel 10. All right. Well played. Great player, mate. Change of play. Fairly. Florimo on the inside. Florimo in worth. Florimo wins through MacArthur. Peter Sterling called it that Florimo's got to get involved. He did just that, and it is rather timely. Right under the post, the Bears could have it now. Yes, a great uh, bit of football. Ray started it, gave it out to the right, got the switch black ball coming back to the uh, way he passed it from. Back on the inside there to Florimo. Pushed off a, a Knights defender with the greatest of these. Took the worth out of it. Got it back inside to MacArthur. And MacArthur goes underneath the post to make it a very simple, uh, hopefully for him, conversion. Now the pass originally went to the right. It's come back to the left. The pass back on the inside to Florimo was a neat one. And then on to MacArthur, who was just out of the range of the uh, defender, who dived very strongly. There's a good try. 